Hey guys, my name is Lena. I am back with another second bite video. I am a nutritionist and health coach over on Instagram most of the time, so you can find me there. Our second bite videos are always a comparison of two of the same. So today we're gonna to be comparing the normal choice bar against the healthier option that we're making at home. So I'm a nutritionist and health coach and I love, love, love sweets. I have a huge sweet tooth. I love to compare the two kind of traditional versus the healthier option to kind of see which one we would actually prefer to have. Which one would you go back for a second bite? So today we're doing Twix. I haven't had a real Twix bar in forever and this is also my first time trying this at home recipe. So I'm excited. I normally have somebody with me to try um, both options and compare the two to get together but I don't have anyone with me today it's just me so we'll see how this goes I'll be as honest as I can be again I have a huge sweet tooth so it's not unlikely for me to like the unhealthy option as well so let's get right to it we're gonna go ahead and make these Twix bars I have like all the ingredients kind of ready behind me they seem easy enough a lot of the recipes ask for coconut and almond flour and I did not want to buy coconut flour so it took me forever to find one that didn't have it. And this one actually still did have coconut flour. I just swapped it out for cornstarch because it was just a little bit. And that's gonna hopefully absorb the moisture the same way coconut flour would. So we'll see what happens. I did half the recipe as well because I don't feel like I need 16 Twix bars here. I mean, I could eat them, but I don't feel like I need them. So the first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take one cup of almond flour. This is so awkward. I don't know if I like the standing thing that I'm doing here. This is our tablespoon of cornstarch. Pop that in there. Coconut oil, maple syrup, and vanilla all going in there too. Here's what we got here. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. Pop up. Pop up. Pop up. <laughs> um, okay. I'm annoying. So we're going to go ahead and whisk this together. This is the shortbread. So the bottom part of the Twix. Um, I guess the healthier thing here is that we don't have all the crazy kind of added ingredients that you'll get from a Twix bar. It's just kind of maple syrup, coconut oil, which is your healthy fat, and then almond flour, which is also a nice healthy fat there. Pop, pop. Have you guys ever seen Community? And the guy always goes, pop, pop. I hate that show. I hate the show Community. Just for reference, this is the wrong size pan. I'm supposed to have a eight by eight and I don't have that with me. Okay, so I'm definitely just making a little bit, but I really, really like it. I'm really happy with it. Okay. Well, that's in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the middle layer, which is our caramel layer. We're gonna do a quarter cup of almond butter. Sticky little guy. Coconut oil, maple syrup, and then a dash of vanilla. Okay, and we're gonna throw in a dash of salt there too, just to cut that sweetness a little bit. I'm a huge fan of like salted caramel stuff. Whenever I do like a caramel, I want to double that salt just because I, I mean, that's my personal preference though. I just like it. If you guys have seen my oatmeal, you know that I'm like a salted caramel fiend. What the heck does like fiend mean? Fiend, 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 salted caramel fiend. Wow, look how darn cute and cute in that one is. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Beautiful, it looks like caramel. I'm really, really, really into this. So the caramel is done now, which is great, but shortbread is still in the oven. So when the shortbread pops out in about 10 minutes, then we'll go ahead and let that cool completely before we pour the caramel layer on top. Then I'll see you back here in 10 minutes. Cool. Okay, that's done, but it needs to cool completely, which takes time. So in the meantime, I'm going to be over here here, right there, at, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm eating crackers, editing what I've recorded so far. So Inception is going on at the moment. All right, so we're gonna take this and pour it on top. Now, because I don't have like an eight by inch, eight by eight inch pan, then it might drizzle over, but I'm just gonna pop it straight into the freezer and hope for the best. I don't want to lose any to like fall off. So pray for me. All right, straight into the freezer. Ooh, I had to change 
change my clothes because I have to get comfortable because your girl, you know, she just needs to get, I hate saying your girl, I hate that. But whatever, I have to get comfortable for um, my Twix. Also, I had a lot of chocolate while I was waiting for these to cool. So the homemade one's already melting, so that's why I have a fork. I don't know if I already said that. We're gonna try that one first. Actually, I lied. Let's try the store-bought one first. I haven't had one of these in a really long time. I've had candy, but not a Twix. You wanna see it? Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, I don't like it. It's too chewy. I don't like the caramel. I actually want to take it out. I don't like it at all. Flavor-wise, it's not bad. I don't think it has that much flavor at all. Texture-wise, I really don't like it. I am surprised. I thought I would like it more. The crunch isn't as satisfying, and the caramel is not satisfying at all. Um, I'm really surprised I don't like that, because I thought I would. Yeah, I would not go back for a second bite. Rarely do I ever not even finish my first bite, but in that case, I don't want to finish my first bite. Let's try a homemade version. Okay, so the shortbread layer isn't too crunchy. Maybe you should have baked it a little bit more. I'm going back for a second bite. I'm going back for a second bite, but I really want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, also not that sweet, but surprisingly, the caramel on this, caramel, I think it's more satisfying than the caramel on this, which feels more like toffee. Yeah, this one's definitely, the homemade one is definitely much better compared to the store-bought. And I am surprised. I actually expected store-bought to win today. But there you have it, another second bite. And I'm telling you guys, I'm 110% honest when I do these. Um, another second bite win video and another healthy one winning. I'm shocked. I really am. I'm shocked. But this is just a reminder that you think that you love these indulgent, really high sugar, overly processed treats, when in reality, the healthier option or even making something at home can be even more satisfying. So I always say like starting that healthy lifestyle or taking those steps to um, having less of those really, really indulgent, um, things that don't support our goals, you know, initially we're like, I can't do that. I can't do that. Or like, I love Twix. Like if I don't have a Twix, like I'm going to go crazy. Like switching that mindset, relaxing a little, a little bit and, and challenging it. Right. Challenge that. But I need this in my life kind of mindset. Right. Maybe it's not the Twix that you need. Maybe you like the satisfying crunch of something, so you make something else with the satisfying crunch. Maybe it's not the same thing with pizza. Maybe it's not the pizza you're so obsessed with. Maybe it's the satisfaction of that cheese pull. Could you put that cheese pull on veggies? I mean, listen, sometimes you do want the pizza and sometimes you do want the Twix, but to at least know that you like the other option just as much and that you can lean on that too, right? I'm just like, shocked about this one honestly anyways guys that's it for today if you guys want more of these videos be sure to hit the like button and subscribe woo -woo, so that we can get more of these for sure go ahead and follow me over on instagram at living with lena that's where you'll see me every single day spewing out all the healthy lifestyle habit tips and tricks to make this easy for you and sustainable for you other than that i will see you guys hopefully next week Woo! Okay, bye! <laughs>